This video is sponsored by Videoblocks. What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're checking out this shiny little guy, the LG V30. So clearly this is nothing like its predecessor, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's somewhere in between a V20 and a G6, and that's more obvious than ever when you flip it around to the front side. So I've been using the LG V30 for the last 72 hours straight, and this might be a preview unit, but I can give you some pretty good insight on how this thing performs as a daily driver. So let's talk about specifications for a second. Inside of the LG V30, we have a Snapdragon 835 processor and four gigabytes of RAM. And sure, that's exciting and all, but I wouldn't expect any less from a 2017 flagship. Now jumping back over to the front side of this phone, we have a six inch P OLED display with a resolution of 2880 by 1440. And just like the G6, this thing looks gorgeous. Now powering the whole show is a 3300 milliamp hour battery. And while I'm not going to give you exact numbers on the battery yet because this is preview software, it's a preview unit, you know, yada yada. It actually does perform pretty well. But be sure to subscribe for my full review of the LG V30 when it drops in the near future and tick that notifications bell so you're the first to see it when it drops. So one thing you may notice about the V30 is the fact that there's no second screen anymore. You know, when you lock the device, you don't have that nice little second display at the top of here. And LG completely did away with that. And you know what? I'm kind of happy with that and instead we have this nice little floating bar that you can move around the screen to wherever you'd like and get that same experience more or less. On the flip side of that, that second display is what differentiated the V30 from the other LG phones on the market. So what's left here? One beneficial thing here is that we do have an IP68 dust and water resistance rating. We have a quad DAC inside of the V30, which is great for all you audiophiles out there. And we also have a pretty nice camera setup around the back. Real quick though, I wanna to talk to you about this video sponsor, Videoblocks. Now, Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds, and this includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. All these clips come with a royalty-free agreement, so you can't get hit with copyright claims, and we're giving away seven days of video blocks so that you can try it out and get access to this massive video library and royalty-free license for free. All you have to do is visit videoblocks.com forward slash YouTube or click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get seven days of video blocks for free. Again, if you want to try this out for yourself, you can visit video blocks.com forward slash YouTube to get seven days of video blocks for free. So around the back here, we have a dual camera setup, one of which is a 16 megapixel shooter with a crazy aperture of f 1.6. And then we have a 13 megapixel wide angle lens with an aperture of f 1.9. So with the V30, LG is pulling all the stops with the camera modes. There are a ton of them, all of which you'll find out in my full review. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want to see that soon. But one of my favorite features is the fact that there are a lot of cine capabilities on this smartphone. There's actually a setting inside of the camera app that will allow you to save it as LG Cinelog. And what this will do is it'll actually allow you for greater flexibility in the post editing process of your footage. So you'll have all of that raw data and you can pretty much manipulate it however you'd like. But we'll explore more of this in the full review, but there are some pretty cool video capabilities here. There's even on-screen LUTs that you can use with the log footage. So basically when you're shooting log, it's all kind of bland and flat and dry and things like that. And you can put a LUT over the display to give you an idea of what it will look like after your post color correction is done. So pretty cool stuff happening here. And of course, as you're used to with the V series from LG, we have a full on manual mode, auto mode, and this shoots up to 4K video resolution at 30 frames per second, but you can bump it down to 24 as well, which is a nice little treat. There's just a ton of stuff happening in the camera app. And if you wanna check out some full resolution photos that I've taken with this preview unit, I will be sure to drop a gallery below for you and let me know what you think in the comments section. Now, as far as unlocking the device goes, there's actually some cool features as well. Sure, we do have the fingerprint sensor on the back, which is great and all, but there's also a facial recognition and a voice recognition, which both work pretty crazy. Now, let me tell you, in my testing so far, the face recognition on the V30 is the best implementation I've seen. It actually works in all levels of lighting from what I've tested at this point, it's pretty scary how accurate this thing is, but the voice recognition is pretty cool as well. Check it out. What's up, bro? 
<laughs> there you go. So for anybody that's curious, I actually went into the settings and set up a keyword or phrase that would only activate to my voice. So every time I say, what's up, bro? The phone will unlock just like that. It's pretty awesome. There's really a ton going on with this phone, but really my favorite aspect are the camera features. And I think that's what makes this appealing to everybody. I don't know though. Let me know what you think about the V30 in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see my full review, subscribe. That'll be dropping in the near future. But let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to hear who actually wants to buy a V30 versus like the Note 8 or the Pixel 2 or anything like that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the the next video.